Yo, what's up guys, Snowgoat here. So a lot of people have been asking me about uh, weak auras, UI, macros, stuff like that. So what I decided to do is just make a full length video where I go one by one, every add-on I have, weak aura I have, uh, UI thing I have, and just go in detail on all of them. And then I'll put a timestamp in the description where you can just skip ahead to where I'll quickly go over my UI like in front of you and the like things that people have been asking me about the most. And uh, if I go over an add-on there that you care about, you can go into the uh, timeline on the video and you can go backwards and find where I talked about that in more detail if you want more information on that or if you don't care you can just scroll screen down to the description and just yoink it right out of there so without further ado let's just get into it angry assignments this is just so you can like you can give people in your raid like assignments for like certain fights and stuff it'll basically like put a notepad on their screen where they can see what they need to do um if this is just like raid leader shit atlas atlas loot atlas classic you guys probably already know what this is but you just go in here and you can like see what drops from what bosses from each raid you can see like crafting professions gear that is made in chance like you basically can see all the like important items or recipes that you need to in the game a tune is basically a step-by-step -step guide that like shows you what you need to do to get attuned to a raid or a dungeon or like how to like it gives you like step-by-step -step guide on like how to uh like get attuned for like a certain rep if you need to get like rep and chance like sons of hodiers in there um it's really nice auctionator this is just my auction house add on uh just makes it easy to like post stuff in bulk you guys a lot of people use tsm but i'm like too stupid to use tsm so i just use auctionator uh basically you just like click here selling and then if i wanted to sell like bulk i could do one stack of 20 hit posts and it'll just post all of my shit uh same for buying like you can buy bulk and uh another cool thing is you can make shopping lists so like i have like a dk consume shopping list so i can just go here and like the consumes i use i can just click on them and it'll search the auction house for them instantly i don't have to like type anything in so yeah it makes it really brain dead uh bagnon that's just a you know, bag puts all of your bags in one giant bag uh big debuffs this one's actually like super fucking good i'll go to the uh i'll go to the training dummy and show you guys what this does right so big debuffs basically um you can put in big debuffs like what kind of cc you want to show on top of your uh like nameplate on your target so um and there's a shit ton in here. I just leave them all like checked by default. Um, I basically just stole Zaryu's setup. He has a video on this for PvP, but I really like it for PvE too. Basically what it does is like, if I use a CC or anybody in the raid uses a CC or on something, instead of it appearing on the top, like where I have my dots, so if my dots are on the top of the nameplate here with Plater, and then I use like Strangulate for example, it just puts it on the side here in this big debuff, which like, so if something's like stunned or polyed or something, you just get a big square on the right side. You can move that square around, you can put it on top, you can put it on the left, you can put it on the bottom, whatever. I just like it on the right right there. Um, I would use other CC to show you guys, but I only have Strang and it's too many cooldown, but yeah, that's what it does. Uh, Chinchilla minimap, uh, that's the minimap I have. Uh, that's There's lots of ways that you can like customize this to make it like look cool or whatever. I just like having it as this like little corner thing. It's silver, you can zoom in and out with it. Uh, when you ping on the map, you can see here in my chat it says somebody pinged. If anybody pings the map, it'll like give you a notification. All of that's like customizable. I like it. Classic floating combat text, that's what I used uh, for my combat text add-on. So when you see these numbers here with the icons on them, that's classic floating combat text. And then you can see there when I obliterate, um, it's combining my two hits into one big number. Uh, that's the main reason I use uh, classic floating combat text. So classic floating combat text, if I open this up. Oh, here it is. So if you go to just the regular, if you just click on Classic FCT, which shows like all the options right here, Merge Events, it'll uh, it'll merge all your do wield hits into one big number, which I really like, because sometimes the numbers will overlap with each other if you're using regular WoW floating combat text, or like uh, I used to use um, Nameplate SCT, but then the numbers overlapped, so I started using uh, Classic floating combat text. I like combining the numbers, because big numbers better. Click. This is for mouse over healing. Uh, it's... If you don't have like Voodoo or Grid or something, you can bind spells to uh, different buttons on your keyboard or mouse, and then you can just hover over someone's raid frame and click on their name and use your the hockey you bound to use a spell. It's pretty nice. Cross gambling. This is if you're a degenerate, you just like gamble and raid. DBM. Everybody knows what DBM is or big wigs. Both are fine. Something else you can do with DBM is you can come in here to on the bosses section. You can scroll down and like find a max arachnid quarter. Uh, click on a boss, and then you can disable like certain announcements or certain bars that you don't care about seeing. Like uh, on DBM, I know like on Sarth, like 3D Sarth or whatever, it's like does not shut the fuck up with like move because there's so much shit going on in that fight. So I just turn a bunch of voice announcements off because it DBM won't shut up on that fight by default. Uh, or maybe that was just me, but yeah, it's annoying, so I turn that off.
Deja Classic stats. Uh, this just changes my character panel, so it gives me more information about my stats. It also, it's also it's like showing the eye level on my gear, and uh, there's other customizable things you can do with it. Details. Details is details. That's what I have down here in the bottom right. It tracks your damage. It shows you all sorts of good information. Um, here's the main thing. A lot of people have been asking me about like how I have this uh, spell tracker here. This isn't a separate add-on. This is details showing me what buttons I used last. Um, all you have to do is go into your detail setting, click here, click on options, you come into, uh, where is it, right here, broadcaster tools, click on this, and then it's action tracker, you just enable this, and you can click on options and change it, the way I have it set up is to use, um, I have it set up to use, set up to use squares instead of uh, text. Uh, what you change right here, select mode, now it's text, now it's squares, right, I like squares, but yeah, this is all details plugin, and it should be on there by default. Dominoes, Dominoes is what I use for my bars, these are Dominoes bars, uh, Dominoes is probably, like, it's the exact same thing as Bartender, if you've heard of that, except better in my opinion, uh, it just lets you move and drag your bars around and pick where you want to have your, like, UI set up, so, yeah, if you're wondering, like, how I have my shit set up, it's Dominoes. GTFO, this is a must-have add-on. It'll fucking honk air horns at you or, like, uh, weather sirens if you're standing in bad. Uh, you, even if you're the best player in the world, you should just have this because when you're tunneling on your rotation and you start hearing, like, sirens go off, you'll move and get out of the shit. Uh, if you don't have this, you're just griefing your raid, honestly. Uh, GRM, this is just for, like, managing your guild roster if you're, like, in a leadership role. I'm not, but I have it anyway because I have a big ego. Handy notes, um, this puts, like, it changes your map, basically, and will, like, put, like these icons everywhere and you can um like customize the icons like here and show npcs so you can like you can change your map a lot to like only show things that you care about and you can also put notes on your map customizably by like alt right clicking so if i like alt right click here i can put like this is where the boys party right and i can like pick a thing and then there we go now there's a star on my map forever and if i hover over it it'll give me my stupid note right so that's what handy notes is for Improved loot frame. This just makes it so the loot frame is one big thing and you have to hit the next arrow to like see it all. It'll all show up in one frame. Instance achievement tracker. Uh, this is just a good add-on for tracking achievements. If you're trying to get like uh, to the 25 or 10 minute achievements, it'll show you like, it'll like tell you like, oh, achievements started, achievement failed, who failed the achievement, if you failed it, like on Thaddeus, if somebody gets zapped, it'll like call them out and you can laugh at them. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Item rack. This is like the only add-on that I recommend if you like have multiple gear sets for like different specs or even one spec. Uh, item rack just lets you change between them really easily. I have item rack up here. I actually only have one gear set because I only play Frost on this DK, but um, on my on my Resto Druid, I play Blinken on that too. I can just switch with one click to my different gear sets, which is really nice. Beatrix maps, uh, that's what is letting me make my map like this instead of taking out my whole screen, make it draggable. You can make it so it's like transparent when you run around. I have it locked right now because I like having it locked, but uh, yeah. This is Leatrix Maps, it shows my coordinates here, I like it. Leatrix Plus, okay, this is one of the essential add-ons. Um, Domino's was the other one, by the way. But Leatrix Plus, you guys definitely should get this if you don't have it, like, it's so fucking nice. It does all sorts of stuff for you. Uh, auto-sell junk, auto-repair, uh, automate gossip, which, like, it'll skip, like, all the bullshit when you're trying to open a window with a vendor. Um, block jewels, and people can just whisper you slash, uh, people can just whisper you INV and they'll, you'll auto-invite them. There's a billion things here, but one of the most nice things that you can do is go down here to system, and you can check max camera zoom, and what that'll let you do is you can zoom out as far as the game will let you, instead of being, like, stuck inside that, like, very small window so when you're fighting like massively giant bosses it's really fucking annoying not being able to zoom out or like see your area like on bc on the vosh platform it was super nice being able to zoom out while i was tanking so yeah that's like probably the nicest thing about ltp but there's a ton of nice things on there that's like one of the add-ons that just has like a million like qol things in it so i would definitely recommend getting that if you guys don't have it lose control what this does is if you get cc'd basically like the same way in pvp it'll put up like a little icon on your screen of like what cc you're under and how long it lasts uh it's basically what's in retail right now when you get like stunned it'll like show you that you're like incapacitated or whatever it's that except for classic mask mask is what's changing how my uh Domino's icons look or how my icons look in general for all my skills so once you have like an add-on you can uh, open mask then you can like pick one of these skins. I'm not gonna change it because I don't wanna fuck my UI up, but basically you download Mask and then you like have all these different things. It'll be like Mask, Cave, Mask, Dream, Mask, Entropy, right? All of those like Entropy, Cave, Dream, all of those are like different um, like uh, themes that you can download, right? And then you can just turn Mask on and you can like have it enabled on certain add-ons like Dominoes, for example, 
or you can disable it on certain add-ons if you don't want it to like change the skin of your add-ons. This is like totally just a UI thing. Like it doesn't actually affect your gameplay in any way. It just changes how your buttons look. So I like my like presence buttons to be like circles instead of squares. And then like these are a little darker and these are like have silver borders. It's literally just to like make it look pretty. There's nothing else it does, but I like it. So, and then you can see I just have like a million different mask themes because I'm a loser. Uh, method raid tools. This one is really nice. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Uh, I'll just show you real quick. MRT, you can show raid cooldowns in like uh, somewhere on your screen. So you can uh, have like basically see here the raid cool. Uh, pe when people in your raid, you can select what cooldowns you want to see. And you can see like when your tanks have like AoE taunt available or when your paladins have like raid sac available, right? Or innervates or battle reses, whatever. You can like have all of that set up so it just shows in a window. This is mostly for like raid leaders, but even if you're just a regular raider, it's nice to be able to see this cooldown sometimes. Something else nice about MRT is uh, when you do a ready check, um, it'll like bring up a window of like who's consumed, who's who's flashed, like who, uh, what buffs everyone has, so you can easily see like who's missing what and if people are griefing you. Uh, another thing is you can enable auto combat logging with this. You can do this with a bunch of add-ons, but yeah. Oh yeah, the last thing that you can check here is if you go to timers, you can have like time to kill here, which uh, will basically like estimate how long the boss has alive if you like use that for execute phases or something like that. And then another thing is if you're like a, again, like a raid leader or something, you can have this marks bar and basically it just puts up like a little bar in your bottom right where you can easily like click and skull X triangle and mark different uh, NPCs. Minimap button bag or just minimap button. Uh, that's what this is right here. It takes all my minimap buttons that are usually like piled around my minimap and it just puts them in one like little button bag and you can just open it and close it by clicking on it. And I think if you alt drag, yeah, if you alt left click, you can drag it and move it where you want it. Uh, yeah, I like that because it just makes my screen less cluttered and I keep the things that I care about like on my minimap. Misspelled, if you type a word in chat and it's spelled wrong, it'll underline it and then you can right click it and it'll give you a suggestion of like what to correct it to. It's literally just a spell checker for a while. Nameplate, scrolling combat text, that's the old nameplate uh, combat text add-on I used before I used classic FCT. Um, this one works great too. The only reason I switched is because I wanted to make my obliterates into one number because I'm a loser. That's literally it. Nova Instance Tracker, uh, this like shows you how much XP or like gold per hour you're getting from dungeons. I used to boost a lot of my Pally NBC, so I had that for that reason, but it's nice if you're just leveling or whatever. Nova World Buffs, this like shows you when World Buffs are coming in. This was a classic thing. I don't think anybody uses this anymore, but I guess it's good if you're like... I think it gives you PvP timers on towers. I don't know if there's a thing in Wrath. I don't PvP anymore, so... Omnibar, uh, this is for PvP. It'll show you like uh, enemy cooldowns on your screen. Omni CC, this one's another essential one. Like what it does is you can see here, it just makes my cooldowns have uh, have numbers on them. That's what that's where these cooldowns are coming from. This is all Omni CC, putting these numbered cooldowns on my screen. Uh, when they're like five seconds or less, it'll turn red. So yeah, I mean, I would never not have this add-on. I think it's essential, but you guys can use whatever you want. Omni CD, this is more of a PVP thing, but it's pretty good for like dungeons too, I guess. Uh, It'll put um, your party's cooldowns like next to their uh, nameplates on their party on your party frames. So if you like are a tryhard in PvP or a, a super tryhard in, in dungeons, you can have you can like see when your tanks have like certain cooldowns or when your DPS have certain cooldowns next to their nameplates. It's really nice for PvP, but I don't know who uses it for dungeons. For Mythic Plus, it's good. Opi uh, Opi just like lets you put this radial on your screen, um, so you can customize it. So you can have multiple different radials with multiple different hotkeys, and you can change these to be anything. I just have mine for marking because I like it. But yeah, basically I hit this hotkey, this circle comes up, and then you can like move your mouse around and like pick what you want it to be. So uh, it's really nice. Like I see people use like put their mounts or like pets on this, or you can like put like skills that you don't use often, like a mages I've seen put like conjure refreshment or like table on here and shit. But yeah, I just use it for uh, marking. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pally Power, if you're a Paladin, you already know what this is, and if you don't know what it is as a Paladin, you should definitely reroll. Plater Nameplates, that's the nameplate add-on I use. Um, I'll share my nameplate profile if you guys like this, but my profile, by the way, is like pretty customized, so you might not, like, if you can take my profile, but it's definitely not a default template. There's lots of default default templates already, like on Weekors, uh, on Wago.io or whatever, that you can find, but uh, basically, I customize it to make it the way I like it. The main thing that I changed uh, was since I use big debuffs, I don't have buff special on, which will show like the CCs on the side, like I was showing you before with big debuffs. And the other thing is like, uh, there's certain debuffs like um, Frost Vulnerability, for example, um, Chains of Ice, String, 
like there's certain debuffs that i don't care about seeing on the nameplate so if i didn't have frost vulnerability on there when i hit them with like my frost spells it would also have frost vulnerability up here i don't give a fuck about that because that's not something i need to track and refresh so the only the, the only debuffs i want to see on my nameplates are things that like i should be managing right so uh i i blacklist those on my personal plater i'll share my uh profile with you guys anyway uh, in the description but just keep that in mind that like it's not a default template so um you're probably going to want to look through it if you copy my profile maybe just like I, I highly recommend just like going through and customizing it yourself quartz uh quartz just lets you edit your cast bar move it around change the template change the background uh change the size and length uh i'll show you real quick uh by open quartz toggle bar lock you can see this is my quartz bar and there's all these different um scroll down it's so all these different settings you can do so you can have a player cast bar target cast bar you can edit all this shit i literally disable everything except my own cast bar and then i change it to the size and shape i want i put it where i want it and i'm done uh, i have it like right above my buttons because i like it there but yeah that's what quartz is questy this is a questing add-on you guys know what questy is rare scanner this is the same thing as like golden dragon basically uh if like a, a rare npc is on your map it'll alert you this is i the only reason i have this is so one day i can get time lost proto drake but yeah it's a meme Rating Buster, uh, this one's actually really fucking nice. So what Rating Buster does is, um, if you have like a piece of gear, it'll show you the on the bottom there. You see where it says health, attack power, hit chance, crit chance, max damage. What it does is like it it'll do the math between what you have on and what you're hovering on the tooltip and show you exactly like to the like exact decimal what you're gaining and losing, stat wise. And if you open up Rating Buster, so I'll just like open. Hang on, let me find it. Interface rating buster here you can choose like what you want to see so i only have like um death knight related things on this profile because i'm playing a dk but like if i wanted to see like how much agility i get or how much like parry i get uh as a tank or how much uh dodge i get it'll show all of that on the bottom too but since i'm playing dk i only care about seeing like attack power and stuff like that right but it's really nice so i can like look at an item and be like oh okay this is giving me this much and this much and this much if i don't feel like simming and i just want to put something on uh these days i don't really use it that much because i just sim shit if i get a new drop and then figure out if it's better but um yeah it's nice to just have a quick glance and see if something is good and uh, also when you're leveling it's really nice because i'm not simming gear when i'm leveling rep by zone what this does is uh it'll change what rep is being tracked on your uh rep tracker here depending on where you are in the world it will auto change it so that's pretty cool restocker this one's actually pretty like slept on you can slash restocker here and um you can add items in here you can literally just drag an item from your bag into this add thing or you can type in the item name or the item id and then you can put like a uh, like i'll just show you I can like put this here and then I can like put 50. And if I ever go to a vendor, um, when I right click that vendor, it's automatically just gonna buy 50 huge citrines, right? Obviously I can't buy these at a vendor, but you get my point. So like, well, I use this for like water if I'm playing like a caster or whatever, or like for whatever consumables you need, like if you use reagents for certain spells, you can drag those reagents in here and then put like how many you wanna restock on. Every time you click on that vendor, it's just auto gonna buy those reagents for you. So you don't have to worry about it. Scrap, what this does is automatically sell your gray junk and like other shit that you designate as junk. I have a shit ton of stuff designated as junk because like stuff I just never ever am going to actually sell on the AH, even if it's not a gray item. But yeah, uh, LTP also does this. Shadowed unit frames. So this is what I use for my actual unit frames. This is another essential quote unquote add on. Um, Shadow to unit frames basically lets you change uh, all of your unit frames. So it should, can, you can change your raid frames, you can change uh, your party frames, you can change your frame, your player frame, your target frame, your focus frame, your, uh, here I'll make a focus real quick, uh, your target of target. So that's how I have my ad my uh, UI like set up the way it is. I just went into SUF and I customized it to be the way I want. I'll share my, uh, I'll share my profile if you guys want to copy it, if you like this layout. But yeah, this is super customizable, I really like it. Um, I might make a whole video about SUF because it's just so nice. Sin stats, character stats, I fucking love this add-on. I actually found a bug on this add-on and uh, posted in Discord asking about it. And the dev who makes the add-on messaged me on Discord and was like, oh, dude, like, I didn't know that was wrong. Thanks for letting me know. And then fixed it, like, within, like, two hours. So the dev who makes this is a rock star. And this add-on's sick, man. So but that's where I'm getting all this information up here. This will show you your real-time attack power, crit, hit percentage, haste, armor pen, expertise, all of this shit. Like, I mean, there's a ton of uh, things you can customize on here that you want to see. I 
have a lot of things off, but your DPS, your damage, your mischance, the boss armor, your weapon speed, there's spellcaster stuff, like how much damage you're doing with different elements. So if you're like a fire mage, you'd like check firepower, your pet damage, your resistances. It's really nice for defense if you're playing a uh, if you're playing a tank. Like in TBC, I, I used this for cru like knowing if I was crush immune or uh, crit immune or whatever. That was super fucking useful, but it's still awesome. I love it. And the fact that it live updates, so like my attack power is like 3728, right? But if I like pop my cooldowns or whatever and like pop an armor pot, you can see my attack power just shot up because I just popped a bunch of cooldowns. I have shit running, so my attack power is higher. My haste probably increased with the haste pot too, right? If I click that off, yeah, it did. So yeah, uh, since stats is sick. Speedy auto loot. Uh, all this does is if you have auto loot enabled, uh, if you have speedy auto loot, when you right click loot something, it'll instantly loot all the shit off the body. Super fast. Taco tip. Taco tip is literally uh, so you can see people's uh, gear score and their item level. Talented. This is a really nice one too. Uh, it just changes your talents into this like nice window where you can look at any class's talents. So I can like look at like Paladin or like Shaman. If I went to like New Template and I wanted to see Mage talents, I can look at Mage talents on my Death Knight, right? And uh, the mo main thing that's nice about it, it, and this is in retail by default, is you can save different templates. So like you can see like when I played Paladin in BC, I had all of these different specs that I would switch between depending on what I was doing, like farming Strath or like Deep Prot or like running Crusade or whatever. And uh, yeah, basically if I wanted to load up like if I like made a talent tree and I wanted to switch specs to that talent tree, I can just like click on that template and then go here and click apply template. And if I have free talents points, like I already reset my spec and my talent points are available to put in the tree, I hit apply and it will automatically just put me in that talent tree. So this is really nice to save different specs. Threat plates. This is just another nameplate add-on like Plater. I used to use threat plates. I don't anymore, even though I think it's still great. It works completely fine. I just prefer Plater. I think Plater is more customizable. Threat Classic 2. Uh, if you still use a threat uh, add on to like see threat and on your target and like tank threat and stuff. I don't anymore because I don't think threat is like a big deal on Wrath, but it was a huge deal in BC. But uh, threat classic two is probably my, in my opinion, it's the best threat bar. But TSM or trade skill master. Uh, I don't really use TSM that much. The main thing I use it for is to just track my gold uh, over um, a long period of time. So if I like click like two years, you can see that like I went from having a shit ton of money like when the expansion started and then I spent it all on Darkman card greatness. Then I made some back fucking jerking off and you know, I'm getting broker every day. That's the only thing I use TSM for, but there's a ton of functionalities with TSM. It's actually a really good add on. I just am too stupid to learn it. But um, I mean, I know some of how it works, but I don't care enough to like get into the details, but there's tons of YouTube guides on TSM. If you guys care about learning that thing, basically it's just like a money manager finance wizard add on. So if you're really into like the finance or like flipping of wow uh or like money tracking or for making money or whatever uh get tsm trinket menu this is another really good one i don't use it right now but basically it uh It'll put your trinkets on just like a little bar that you can drag around and put where you want. And you can hover over those trinkets and switch to different trinkets uh, really easily. Voodoo. This is what I use for my raid frames. So I disable my raid frames on shadowed unit frames and on classic, uh, like the classic default UI. And I just use Voodoo for my raid frames. The reason I do this is because I've used Voodoo for a really long time. I use it on all my healers to heal with. Uh, and the other reason, and I have this in my Voodoo tutorial that's also on this channel. Uh, you can just macro like buttons onto voodoo even as a dps so like if i was playing like a rogue i can just put tricks on like my l button right and then i can just like hover over someone's name press l and it'll tricks them so uh voodoo i just use as my raid frames anyway yeah weak orders i mean what is there to say there's a shit ton of stuff that weak orders can do for you it's basically a million add-ons and one add-on so weapon swing timer um i don't think i use this anymore but this is literally just a weapon swing timer for your character all right guys so this is the part where i'm going to go over like the very basics of my ui and i'll just tell you what add-ons they are and you can go back in the video and the timestamps if you're trying to find more detail or information about those add-ons but anyway here we go so this up at the top right here this is sin stats um my uh buff bar here is uh this is leatrix pro it just lets me move the buff bar down a little bit. My mini map here is Chinchilla. This here is a mini map button bag or just mini map button. My bars here on the side and my bars here on my character are Domino's bars. The cooldowns on my skills is Omni CC. This here is details. The action tracker I have in the top left here. This is a details plugin. This is a weak aura showing that I have my Horn of Winter is missing. These two trinket trackers and ICD trackers are also weak auras. This here, track my diseases, that's also a weak aura. This here showing my frost strike proc or killing machine proc is a weak aura. And I have another one that pops up when I get rhyme, that's also a weak aura. My nameplate's down here, this is shadowed unit frames. Uh, same with my target plate and same with my target of target and my focus target. That's all shadowed unit frames, same with the buffs. 
my blood presence frost presence uh unholy presence this is also dominoes i've just changed how it looks with mask same with all of my other buttons my raid frames here is voodoo my chat uh is default chat but i use pratt to manage the colors and like add more information i don't think i went over pratt but pratt is the chat add-on i use my character panel here is uh deja classic stats all right, so I'm just gonna show you guys my macros. There's really not that many macros I use. Uh, so the basic one I use is I macro start attack and pet attack and uh, rune strike into all of my buttons, all of the buttons I press the most, because why not? Uh, you don't have to have rune strike in here. I do, I think it's DPS gain if you ever parry and press it by like random. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have this in here, but start attack definitely have in here. Pet attack probably have in there so that you like don't get fucked when your ghoul doesn't attack or your army the dead doesn't attack. Will this help? Nobody knows, but yeah, there it is. So uh, for my plague strike, I have this. Blood strike, I have this. Icy touch, same thing. Death grip. This is just a mouse over death grip. So without targeting something, I can hover my mouse over it and I can death grip it. Chains of Ice, exact same macro, I just changed the Chains of Ice, so same thing, I don't have, I can be targeting this dummy, and I can hover my mouse over here, use my Chains of Ice button, and it'll Chains of Ice it. Strangulate, it's the exact same thing. Frost Strike, that's just another start attack, I can put slash pet attack in there. There we go, now it's even better. Obliterate, same thing, Howling Blast, same thing, Pestilence, same thing, Death Strike, same thing. This one for Death and Decay is uh, wherever my cursor is, I can just press it and Death and Decay will autocast wherever my mouse is without me having to like get the big green circle come up first. This macro is the same thing as my Death Grip and Chains of Ice macro, it's just a mouse over for um, kick. So I can be hitting this mob and then I can kick this one. This is a macro that just uses your Nitro Boots. This is probably the main macro people ask me about, so this is my like going ham button or whatever. This is just, it casts Unbreakable Armor. And then it casts Blood Tap, and it'll also use like a bunch of shit at the same time. So use 14, I think that's use 14 is your, uh, I think it's your trinket. Even though I don't have an active trinket right now, if I get one, I use it there, or I'll change it to use 13. Use 10 uses my uh, NG gloves. Use Potion of Speed obviously uses a haste haste pot. Um, use Global Thermal Supercharge, Super Supercharge at player sharing a bomb. So if whatever. It will try to use these bombs in this order, but like if Global Thermal Sapper's on cooldown, for example, then it'll use Super Sapper. If both of these are on cooldown, then it'll use Serenite Bomb. And the reason I have use at player Serenite Bomb is because if you have this macro use at player Serenite Bomb, it'll just automatically throw the bomb at your feet when you uh, when you press it. So you don't have to like get the green circle and click, just like with at cursor, at player just throws the shit at your foot. So this is the uh, macro I use to Unbreakable armor, blood tap, and while I do that, I'm simultaneously like going big dick or whatever, right? I have another macro. It's literally the exact same thing. I just call it puke, and it's like doesn't have any of my consumes in. So like if I'm doing dungeons and I'm not trying to like blow sappers like on normal dungeon trash, then I just put this one on instead. I literally have it right here. If you hold shift and click and drag it, then it won't use it by mistake, so you won't waste your bombs. And I'll just switch these out depending on what content I'm doing. But pretty much I just keep a nuke in there because I don't play this game except for raid logging. Alright guys, so the last thing I'm going to go over is my weak auras, so I mean this is a pretty big one because I have a lot of weak auras, and a lot of them I've made from scratch, the ones I didn't make from scratch, I went to Lago.io, I found someone who made a death knight package, I found stuff in that package I wanted, and then I just ripped it out of there and left the bloat that I don't care about, and then I either made like small changes to those weak auras, or I just left them as default. Um, I could make a separate video going over like the ins and outs and how to like customize your weak auras and all of that if you want. I'm no like super expert on weak auras. I can't write in Lua or anything like that, but uh, I'm like pretty decent with it. So I could do that if you guys care about that. But anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to go through all of my weak auras, what each of them do, and I'll leave uh, um, in the description the strings so you guys can copy them if you want. DK reminders. Uh, this one will basically give you a reminder if you need to pre-pop before the fight. It'll show you if you're missing Horn of Winter, and then this one will show you if you're not in Blood Presence. So if I go on to Holy Presence right now, it's saying like right here, yo, you need to be in Blood Presence because that's what you should be in all the time when you're DPSing. DK UI, this is making my entire UI basically. So this is what's putting this like glow behind my uh, rune bar, my runic power bar. Um, it's showing me my runes and it's showing me my uh, dots on the target. DK procs, this one's the one that's putting uh, like the lightsaber sound when I get a killing machine proc in this in this icon on my screen and rhyme, the like honk honk or whatever it is, or the bite sound I think that is uh, when I get a rhyme proc. Um, I can share this one with you guys, but the icons might not load if you don't have the textures, so you might need to find those icons yourself. DK trinket tracking, this is the one that I use to track the ICD and active timers of my trinkets, which are right now are Grim Toll and Dark Moon Card Greatness. I change these weak orders myself whenever I get a new trinket, but to show you guys real quick how to do this, 
if I look at this one for Grim Toll, for example, I click on this, I can click on Trigger, I can click on Trigger 1, I'll scroll down here to Exact Spell ID, and then what you have to do is find out what the spell ID is of the active spell you get when this procs. So what you can do is like hit something and tell it procs, and then hover your mouse over and see what it's called, and then you would just type in the name of that spell. Um, sorry, you would get the name of that spell, then you would go on Google, you would Google the name of that spell, you would find it on Wowhead, and in the URL of Wowhead, it's going to be like wowhead.com slash spell slash 60437. That's the spell ID. Whatever the, uh, whatever the number is in the URL, that's the spell ID. So you take that spell ID, you paste it in here, and then it'll activate whenever you have that trinket active, right? And then you can scroll down, you can go to trigger 2, you can scroll down, you can uh, come here to spell name, and you do the same thing. You just change this name to whatever the name of the active spell is that procs when you get, uh, when your trinket procs. The last thing you need to do is you scroll past this, you scroll down here to duration, and you just type in the, uh, duration of the ICD, uh, which you can find on Wowhead from the spell name. So if the ICD is 30 seconds, then you would just change this to 30. Death Sound, uh, this makes it so when I die, it plays like Final Fantasy music. It's like uh, to Xanarkin or whatever. This is a custom thing I made, don't worry about it. GCD Cursor, uh, this one I just downloaded straight from uh, Wago. It is just literally what makes my cursor red like this, and when I use a button, it shows me the GCD. Uh, I never look at this for like the GCD part. The main reason I use it is so I can find my mouse on my screen, because sometimes I lose my mouse because I'm blind, but yeah, that's why I have it. The last one I use, and it's not active right now, but I'll share it anyway, it's Bloodlust Notifier. Basically what this does is when I have Lust, it's going to pop this icon up here on my screen, showing me how that I have Lust and how long it's lasting, so that I know when to pop my cooldowns, or I just know if my Shaman did press Bloodlust or not, because sometimes it's hard to know, like, did we Lust yet or whatever? So I just get a little icon here when I have Lust.